and welcome to Animal Watch and this week we're talking American bullies. The American bully has a formidable appearance, looking like a weightlifter who has spent his life working out in the gym. Huge, huge, dense muscles, a short gleaming coat and a large toothy grin. These dogs turn heads, that's for sure. Loved by many, but equally feared by others due to their appearance being similar to certain banned fighting breeds. Coming in four recognised sizes, Pocket, Standard, Classic and XL, with some new unrecognised XXL ones appearing around the globe. They certainly are a topic of conversation. But are these dogs really docile companions as their owners claim they are? Or are these dangerous fighting dogs? In order to find out, I'm visiting several pocket-sized American bullies in Halifax. And when I say pocket size, the males can weigh in at a staggering 37 kilograms, making them as heavy as my largest male wolf dog. Weak and pathetic, these dogs most certainly are not. Gentle and sweet, I'm soon to find out. Nice How are you doing, Annika? You. And Jill? Who's this? This is Diosis. Dios! Our American bully. <laughs> he's like a little muscle man, isn't he? Gentle giant. Oh, he's fantastic. Wow! So you wanted to come and see the rest of the pack today then? You've got more than him? Yeah, we've got a few for you to see. Alright, yeah. I would love to. That's great. Let's go. This is a Flocky. He's Flocky! A, <laughs> Hello. He's a, he's a Dios son. He's only he's just going to our month old now. 12 months. He's actually yeah. really big for 12 months. Yeah, and he's not even finished growing yet. No. no. So how much more big is he going to get? Um, he won't grow no taller now. Just the, just the mass. The mass. Yeah. He'll just mature. His head will start growing even more. Very, very loving dog. <laughs> in effect. Yes, you are. You sure are. You sure. Are. <laughs> I love him. Hi Ivan, how are you doing? Yeah, so good, who have we got you. here? This is Junior. So Junior is approaching three and a half years old. In the UK we don't crop ears. No. So just to let you guys know that when dogs have got cropped ears, it's usually because they're imports uh, from outside of the United Kingdom. These guys are not so cropping he, their ears. He's actually from Spain, is he? They're, they're, like, little, they're like little here. muscle men. Oh they really are. You're beautiful, look, yeah, very yeah. affectionate. He loves kisses. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a pig in my ear. <laughs> He's like, like that. Right, so who's this? This is Cleo. Cleo. She's a Hello. two and a half year old female. She's so sweet. Oh, she's such an affectionate dog. And what are Very they cool. like with dogs when you meet when they meet strange dogs in the park? As, as long as they're socialised correctly, the same yeah. as any other dog. Now that's got to start from a young age. Whether you go into classes and training classes, or whether you're just going to puppy parties, which are down at your local park, it's essential that you get the socialisation in early days, so that the dogs are aware on how to introduce themselves to each other, how to approach another dog, because. In fairness, dependent on how another dog approaches them is dependent on how they'll react. Yes. But she is a very, very calm dog. Yeah. She's been socialised well. And her reaction to any dog what comes over to her is a tail wagging and yeah, she'll yeah, slowly yeah. approach and then yeah. they'll sniff each other and then they're happy yeah. days. I, I can change the conditioning on her slightly. She was originally kibble fed yeah. uh, and we're moving them on to raw. I like to raw feed my dogs. Oh yes, absolutely. Yeah, I I'm just, an advocate the, for that, yeah, for sure. I, over the years, it's something that we've really seen the benefits of um, in our older dogs and in our younger dogs. Mm -hmm. So if it's carefully worked and introduced to them in the right way, so we're just going through that transition yeah. with her now. Yeah. First impressions were very good, and I really did like these dogs, who were bundles of fun and uber affectionate. I'm here with Aaron and Ivan, and we have got the amazing American bullies with us today, don't we? And I've yep. got to say, these are really lovely dogs. They're calm, 
They're friendly, they're loving. I'm a complete stranger and they have taken to me immediately. You don't really see these dogs, do you? Are they fairly new? So roughly five years. Just five years they've been in the UK. Yeah. When was the breed first started? Did around 40 years ago, they started basing the foundations of the American Bully. Um, that was when they were really sort of trying to hone in the exact features that they were looking to gain from the American yeah. Bully. And officially around 13 to 15 years ago, am I right on that? 2004, it become a recognised breed in America. And what were the original dog breeds that went into the background to this? Initially, what they would have put into it was based on the Staffordshire. They really tried to base it on the American Staffordshire, the longer-legged Staffordshire. So what these guys have really tried to harness here is, is the stable temperament. So they based it on an American Staffordshire Terrier. There is Bulldog, which has been put into it, and that's gave you the larger bone, the lower slung rib cage, uh, the deeper set to them. And these come in, what, four, four, three or four different sizes? Four different sizes, officially. So pocket, pocket you have your pocket, smallest, your and then, smallest. And what's the next size up? You have your, your standard. Okay, then? Classic, and then you have your XL. These are pocket size, so these are the smallest. <laughs> and they're big, and they're big. Um, so how heavy are these ones, roughly? Well, my female, she weighs approximately 32 to 34 kilogram, weight dependent and conditioning dependent. I know Dios is a lot heavier. It usually sits around about 38 kilo. That's big. So you've got all of that weight and muscle yeah. squashed down into um, a fairly short dog. So lots of people will be talking about health issues because they've got quite flat faces. Um, how do you find they are with breathing and things like that? I'd say it's variable and yes, you definitely would want to look out for certain issues. The soft palate is, is a problem that is within this breed and that comes from the bulldog traits that they yeah. have and that would cause breathing issues. Okay. So these are very lovely colours. So you were talking to me a little bit earlier that this is liver, yeah. liver colour. And is this like a smoky blue? Yeah, it's actually classed as champagne, lilac champagne. You can't have some weak, older person taking one of these home. They've got to, they've got to have a good pair of arms on them so they can take them for walks, don't they? Especially if these are weighing in at the weight that you were suggesting well, they are. Ag agreed, but at the same time, Early stages of training are essential. Spend your early years socialising the animals. When they're in the house, I mean, do they just lie down? Do they behave themselves? Are they calm? Just lies in front of the fire. I was going to yeah. say, some yeah. of the calmest animals I've ever owned really are. Do you need to wear them out when you walk them every day? Each dog's different. Like, with the exercise wise, like, Dios, he can go out for 30 minutes a day and he, he'll just chill out. Yeah. You don't hear not from him. Okay. Where we have a female and 24-7, she's constantly. Yeah. <laughs> They're the sort of dogs that some people might feel afraid of. And also there's been a lot of people that are given a very, very bad image to, to dogs similar to this. What is the public perception right now of your dogs? Sometimes how a dog of this structure and shape and, and image is portrayed by the media. And I'm not completely knocking the media because at the same yeah. time it is down to certain owners yeah. as well. But the way they're portrayed in the media gives the public an immediate perception that that's not going to be a friendly dog. Mm -hmm. And I can, I can understand their fears and their concerns because of the size and structure of these dogs. Are these dogs fine with kids? So always make sure that you're in complete control of the environment that your child and your dogs are in. That's your responsibility. They are a big, boned, heavy set dog. Yeah. And if they get excited, wagging tails, heavy paws, yeah. I would recommend a child of three years and above would be amazing around them. They are very controlled mm -hmm. around them. My son does a lot of handling yeah. with our dogs and a lot of training. He did that from the age of four years old and has never had any issues and my dogs are very mm -hmm. attentive to So what you're saying, it's down to the owner. Yeah. So if an owner, if you go out of the room and you'll let, you leave your three-year-old child there with the dog, and dogs, you know, knocks your, your kid flat. That's that's to be quite honest, it's your fault, it's not oh, the yeah, dog's fault. But then again, I wouldn't leave my child with any no, dog. No, exactly, that's what I'm saying. It's, yeah. down, it's down to the owner. Do you still recommend that when they're walking them in a, a park like this that they keep them leashed up? I think that's your owner responsibility yeah. completely. I think whether you own a Collie, whether you own a Pomeranian, whether you own a Tibetan Master, yeah. you as an owner should be keeping that dog on a lead because you're not aware of how the other owner's dog is going to react. Yeah. It's a different environment to your own yeah. place so. as well. If, the, if there's good. one breed that <laughs> Dios is scared of, that, that is a Chihuahua. A few doors up, they have one. <laughs> and it, it's petrified, petrified it, it runs off. Because yeah. running past yeah. that. Yeah. 
Well, I'll tell you what, it's been absolutely amazing meeting your dogs today. Now, Aaron, you've got a YouTube channel yourself, haven't you, on American Bullies? Yeah, I have. It's uh, UK Bully TV. Um, we've had a bit of time out, but this year we're coming back uh, yeah. interviews similar to like yourself. Oh, yeah. wonderful. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll pop a little information link in the top of the screen and you can find Aaron's YouTube channel. You can go over and find out more about this, this wonderful, wonderful breed. And um, if you enjoyed this episode of Animal Watch, then be sure to give us a big thumbs up and subscribe by hitting the button in the bottom corner. And be sure to tune in every single week where I'll be bringing you more amazing episodes on dogs, wolves, animal rescue, wildlife and conservation. Bye for now. If you would like to find out more about American bullies in the UK, you can visit Aaron's YouTube channel or Instagram, UK Bully TV and Elite Bullies.